I tell you, since I'm a kid, women always gave me a hard time. My mother never breastfed me. She told me she liked me as a friend. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Glad to have you with us. We are doing another comedy reaction, and uh, we're doing somebody that we've never done before, which is always exciting. Yeah, I've never heard of this person. This gentleman? Yes, this gentleman. Rodney Dangerfield. So, 1979. Um, I've heard the name before. I think I've heard him, like, or seen him on, you know, bit interviews, or mm -hmm. maybe in, like, movies or something like that. Okay. I think he was also on the uh, Simpsons occasionally oh, really? as like a, the cartoon character obviously cool. um, his vocal I think voice I think over might have been on there True. Um, I'm pretty sure he's passed away by this point because he looks like he's a little bit older here and yeah. it's 1979 it's where this is from um, but other than like we just what we just mentioned really don't know much about Rodney Dangerfield just a recommendation from you guys that we should maybe check out some of his material and uh, we've done a lot of Bill Burr we've done some Dave Chappelle we've done uh, a few Patrice others Patrice O'Neill yeah, Patrice O'Neill we've George done George Carlin, Carlin from, you know a few comedian, yeah. comedians at this point but we've never got to Rodney Dangerfield and we you know like to open up and check out a few different other a few other different people yeah uh, sure. hopefully Rodney can speak a little bit better than I am in this <laughs> intro <laughs> but with that said uh, you ready to get into some Rodney Dangerfield? Yeah, let's do it. Look at these curtains. All right, guys. As usual, just remember, leave us a comment, hit that like button, subscribe, and join this community if you haven't done so already. Uh, we're looking to make something special, and we'd love to have you on board. And uh, doing that engagement really does help with the channel and help with the algorithm of giving you guys the stuff that you want. So if you like comedy, this is your thing. <laughs> hit that like button if you do enjoy the reaction. All right, let's go. But last week I was in rough shape, you know? I mean, the last week my wife, she signed me up for a bridge club. I jump off next Tuesday. I mean, last week was rough. Are you kidding? Last week I looked up my family tree, two dogs were using it. I tell you, I can't relax, you know? Now, the other night I was in a place, I felt like having a few drinks. I went over to the bartender, I said, surprise me. He showed me a naked picture of my wife. <laughs> My wife is always something. Her father just died. She had his body frozen. Every time I take a snack, he falls out of the refrigerator. <laughs> I mean, my wife can't do nothing right. Well, last week she cracked up the car. She went into a tree. She said it wasn't her fault. She blew the horn. <laughs> well, what a driver she is. Over the dashboard, there's a pair of shoes hanging. They belong to the last guy she hit. Oh, one night she went out, some guy stole the car. I said to her, did you see what he looked like? She told me she got the license plate number. <laughs> I don't know. I tell you what, me, nothing comes easy. Well, last week I went to the track, they shot off the opening gun, they killed my horse. <laughs> and last week I got stuck too. I bought a new book, A Hundred Ways to Make Love. I ended up in traction, it was a misprint. I never had any luck with girls anyway. I know I'm ugly. I went to a freak show to let me in for nothing. <laughs> My wife, she don't go for me either. And when she gave birth, I asked if I should be in a room with her. She said, what for? When I got pregnant, you wanted a room with me. <laughs> I tell you, since I'm a kid, women always gave me a hard time. My mother never breastfed me. She told me she liked me as a friend. I mean, are you kidding? Well, my mother had morning sickness after I was born. <laughs> I tell you, when I was a kid, I got no respect at all. You kid, no respect from anybody, anybody. You kidding? 
The time I was lost on a beach and a cop helped me look for my parents. I said to the cop, you think we'll find him? He said, I don't know, kid, there's so many places I could hide. <laughs> my old man, he didn't help either. The time I was kidnapped, they sent back a piece of my finger. He said he wanted more proof. <laughs> Man, I was a kid, I went through plenty. Well, my uncle's dying wish, he wanted me on his lap. He was in the electric chair. <laughs> Ah, it's the same thing today, no respect. Well, last week I was gonna jump out my window. They called a priest to talk to me. He said, on your mark. <laughs> So our first introduction to Rodney Dangerfield. Oh, he's funny. Yeah, he's got a great delivery. I really like, you know, obviously it's a lot of punchlines, and I enjoy that. I think sometimes, you know, newer style comedians, you don't get as many punchlines. Yeah. That was just Punchline after punchline after punchline, yeah. And uh, it was funny, too. I, I enjoyed, like I said, just his, you know, way he uses the inflections in his voice to, like, you know, pinpoint yeah. that punch really well. Yeah. He's funny. Time you know, one, one of these days, a... you're going to get respect, and your livelihood is over. You know that. Oh, yeah. Isn't it? That's really nice. It's a great crowd here. It's really nice. How you been, John? I'm okay. fine, Ronnie. Good to see you again. Good. Nice seeing you. Always have a good time out here. Mr. Really? Mason, nice seeing you. Yeah. How are you? Good. Well, what's new in your life? What's new in my life? Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. Nothing new, sir. Just trying to keep busy. That's yeah. all. Working around, you know. Trying to keep busy. Uh, <clears throat> pardon me. Sure, it's all right. Okay. Nothing. Emphysema. Your health is. Right. <laughs> now I. Uh... Now I'll be back in New York, you know, tomorrow night. <laughs> New York. Club? I'll be at the club, yeah. I'll be there Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at the club, working there again, Deja Fields. Then I'll be, uh, I'm going up to New England Way, New you England know, way. next Tuesday, yes, New England Way. I'll be in Cohasset. Cohasset. Ever hear of that one? Sure. Yeah, that's uh, right outside of Boston there. Pardon me. Mm. And uh, I'll be there August. <laughs> it could have been worse. <laughs> I'll be up there August 7th through 11th at the South Shore Music Circus. South Very Shore fascinating. Music You're going to be up that way too, aren't you? I'm going to play Framingham, man. Yeah, and uh, Chateau de Ville. Chateau de Ville. That's, that's nice. That's right. you, you like it up there. Nice people up there, Johnny. Wow. In fact, I have a friend of mine getting touched up there. He's a good guy. Wow. A good guy to know. He runs an all night crap game. He's really a. Oh. <clears throat> Hello? <laughs> You gotta break them in, you, you know. Can. You can. You gotta take them on the road, dry them out. Can't yeah, bring no. them on the big time, and then right, you know, right. sure. Now I'm gonna be in a place I've never been before in my life, Minnesota. Minnesota. Beautiful. Minnesota. That's beautiful. Bloomington, Land. Bloomington, Minnesota. Land of a thousand lakes. Well, that's right. I'll be a lot, a lot of lakes over there. A uh, uh, thousand. A thousand lakes. I'll be there. <laughs> And I'll be at the uh, Carlton Celebrity Club. Carlton Celebrity Club. In Bloomington, Minnesota. Bloomington, Minnesota. This place is so far out in the woods, my act's going to be reviewed in Field and Stream. Ah. <laughs> I'll be out. And the manager of the club is a bear. Is that true? bear. Remember that joke? Yeah, sure. sure. All right. I remember <laughs> them all. Ah, yeah, I'll be out there. But I keep uh, show business rough, though. You know is that, really? Johnny. Sure. You know, that's why. I, that's right. That's yeah. why just a hobby with me. I make my money at my regular job. You know. ah. I sing the national anthem at cockfights, you know, and I. Uh, <laughs> that's right. Don't help. It's a rough business, you know that. Yeah. Last week my fan club broke up, the guy died. Uh. <laughs> but you meet all kinds of people. I met a guy in Vegas last week, I was working there, a wild guy from Texas, you know, wow. yeah, he has a big ranch down there. Mm -hmm. He told me in his ranch he has 60 hands working there. 60. All on him. Ooh, he's Ooh. a wild guy. Yeah. <laughs> it's the gay ranchero, I yeah, guess. Yeah, huh? that's right. <laughs> You're all right, yeah, you know thank that? You. Yeah, thank you, yeah. It's a living, I yeah, show yeah, up. It's a living, show up. I got things planned. Yeah, and I, uh, I, but sometimes I meet people, they act too classy, you know classy what I mean? Classy people, yeah. Are. Like a lot of women sometimes, they act so classy. Like a woman has to go to the bathroom, she never says, I'm going to the bathroom. She's, I'm going to powder my nose, yeah. you know. I mean, if that's where her nose is, she's in a lot of trouble. You know? Yeah. <laughs> a lot of strange people out there. Yeah, strange people. I met a guy last week with a problem, strange though. Strange guy? Ooh, this guy led, no, yeah, he told me he had an affair with a girl three months ago. He's going nuts. He didn't know what to do. He told me what happened was the rabbit didn't die. It just stays in critical condition, you know? <laughs> well, you know, everybody has problems. In fact, I was talking to my brother the other day, you know? And I, well, actually, I said my brother. He's my half-brother. Half-brother. Yeah. Well, we have the same parents. He's just that way. You know? Oh, I see. <laughs> And it's wild having a brother who's gay, I'll tell you that. Really? And I always kid him. I tell him in the family tree, he's in the <laughs> section, you know? Oh. 
You're cruel, cruel, cruel to your brother. Nah, everybody has problems, Johnny. You kidding? My, me too. My marriage is on the rocks again, oh, you know. Come on. My wife broke up with her boyfriend, you know. <laughs> no, my marriage has always been shaky, always shaky. The day I got married, that was a beauty. Everybody was crying. During the ceremony, her mother cried. All the way to the hotel, my wife cried. She got undressed, I cried. I mean, everything. <laughs> Well, yeah, your health is, so, health is important. Uh, so, well, we'll get to that. We'll, we'll, get, we'll, to we'll get to health in a moment. Now, I got enough problems with my health. health. More Not problems, problems, enough health, problems right? with my health. He just goes and goes and goes, yeah. eh? He's yeah. just like, all right, well, Everything is just... Yeah, high energy guy. Yeah. I also just find it interesting, like the conversation dynamics. Clearly, like this is more of a bit by him as well on stage, but yeah. just, you know, the way they communicate with each other, uh, you know, Clearly, this is now, what, 40 years years ago, right? But the conversations just seem like more just kicking it, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, just, just like, like hanging out and yeah. shooting it. And less like, I don't know, ego or something. Yeah. I can't put my finger on it, but yeah. it's just, there is a different dynamic in the way they're speaking to each other and communicating, which is interesting. Yeah. I do think, though, that there are a couple of things in it that he, like, made a joke about that, like, Kind of went over my head just because of the time, maybe the yeah, time sure. and like the, the like the way that they talk. Language too. Exactly. Yeah. So I was like, wait, what? <laughs> what did I miss? Yeah, I mean uh, that's that's to be expected. For the most part, I think it's it's been uh, relevant though. Still. Yeah. Now, I got enough problems with my health. health. Not problems time. Enough health, problems with my health. What are some of your other problems? Kid. Oh my kid, forget it. Will you? My kid's getting worse, you know? Oh, really? oh I don't talk to my kid. Oh, oh he's a mean kid. Mean, he, huh? well, he put crazy glue in my preparation H. <laughs> <laughs> my daughter, she's no bargain either, you know. I, in public school, she was voted most likely to conceive. You have a weird family. Uh, well, kids, they got to watch out for drugs, though. Oh, Ooh, I, I tell you, very bad. bad with drugs. So many kids are using cocaine. Cocaine is very big, you know. I mean, kids today, they don't want to read about Snow White. They want to shove it up their nose. Oh. You know? <laughs> kids, you know. There's always something. Yeah. New generation. So my yeah. dog, too, she gives me trouble. Your dog? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a female dog, oh. you know. I tried to mate her. She wants 50 biscuits. <laughs> A female, no, no matter what the terrible. species, right? Yeah. Every, every day there's something, Johnny. You know, something, today's yeah. been a terrible day. Terrible day. Well, today. What happened today? I got up this morning, did my push-ups in the nude. I didn't see the mouse trap. <laughs> I can't take the pressure, Johnny. It's bad for my health. How know? is your health? Oh, now it's time for health. Tell him, health. Sure. You've been hey, to my, your doctor, Johnny? My friend, Dr. Vinnie Boombox. Yeah, yeah, that's the one, Dr. Vinnie Boombox. My health is bad, very bad, just kidding, very bad. I'm not a kid anymore, I'm getting old. Yeah. I know I'm getting old. Well, my last birthday cake looked like a prairie fire. <laughs> <laughs> you know how it is. I didn't hear what he said. He said my last birthday cake, I got prairie fire. I don't know what that is. I know I'm getting old. At my age, I want two girls at once, you know. Yeah. And if I fall asleep, they got each other to talk to. <laughs> What's new with you? <laughs> I assume you're through. <laughs> <laughs> In a minute. <laughs> it's funny because it's obviously like bits that he's put together, but it's also funny because it, it's also cool because it's kind of like he relates it a lot to his own life yeah. as well. It sounds like, even though who knows like how true all that stuff is, but it's just like it's funny because it seems personable. As yeah, well. I think though, like I think some of that was improv too, though. Like, yeah, because he had like fifty punchlines yeah. in there, and some <laughs> yeah. of it was like, "Oh, what about your health?" And then he went on a tangent yeah. about his health. So I'm yeah, sure he fair. has written Free, a lot of it. Freestyling his but, jokes. But yeah, it was improvised, I think, a lot. So if that's the case and he does a lot of that improvisation, that's pretty impressive yeah. um, to do that. So anyways, I enjoyed our introduction to, to Rodney Dangerfield. Yeah, Jr. he was good. I liked him. Well, if you guys have any other recommendations for Rodney, hit us in the comments and let us know. Let us know what you like about him and maybe this bit. And uh, we always try to take those uh, recommendations into our guidance for how we move forward. 
Uh, and if you did enjoy it, hit that like button for us. If you want to subscribe, we'd love to have you and take it, take you on this journey that we're on with us and uh, build this great community up a little bit more. So that's it from us today, guys. We'll be back soon with another one. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.